Johnny. Uh, um, uh, hey, dude. Uh, what's up? Why are you talking to me? Well, Johnny, I was just wondering if you wanted to go to the hospital. Uh, um, dude. Uh, uh I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, um, uh, it looks pretty creepy over there. Hospital is so fun, Johnny. Come on, Johnny. Oh, dude, I'd, I'd rather stay away from there. Oh, Johnny, can you please come to the hospital? Uh, 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 all right, dude, I'll, I'll come to your stupid hospital. That's right, Johnny. You come to the hospital now. See the light of day! <laughs> hey everybody, it's the Purple Toad here. Coming at you live from Black Mist, that is my basement. And in the last episode, we completed this here, the forest, and got most of those collectibles in there. And we unlocked over here the hospital. The creepy, demented looking hospital that we have no business to go into, but. Now we have business to go into here because Dr. Fetus has taken Bandage Girl here and we must chase after him. But before we do that, I want to mention something that I didn't point out in the last video. Um, I unlocked over here to the left. This is what I was wondering about last video and wondering why it wasn't unlocked. I unlocked to internets when I was just finishing up some Dark World stuff in the first world. Um, now to internets. This is a really cool world and I'll get into it much more later, but right now we have some business to take care of over at the hospital. So let's go see what this creepy place is all about. hospital home of the happy face needles or syringes or whatever they're called they're called but whatever uh yeah this world if you haven't figured out already is a bit a little bit creepy so uh yeah i'm a little nervous going into this that creepy face if that creepy face was no indication these levels will pull some dirty tricks on you and It'll make you not be able to sleep for a long while, like it did to me. So, yeah, I hope you're not intimidated, but the hospital hopes you are intimidated. The hospital will rule everyone. Be afraid of the hospital. Hospital. Anyway, let's go right into um, 2 1 Biohazard. Um, yes, these levels are. Um, getting harder as by the second so we should probably do them because meat boy has that confidence like you know yeah meat boy you beat this hospital so jump into this first level here um as you see there is a bunch of these syringes coating the walls and such and those are instant kills so you don't want to have any business going into those. Um, that's just a new little thing to the hospital, um, along with the music and a few other things that um, you'll see in the future. So, let's move on to 2 2, 1 down. Now, this one is hard. So, basically, you have these walls of syringes and they are um, like rotating and rotating and stuff. So, um, really quickly, I'm gonna redo this, see if I can get that bandage. Uh, yeah, alright. Third time hurts. Yeah, third time's the char. Said third time's the char. Alright. Yes. Did I oh, nice save, me boy! Dang it. Alright, come on, bandage. I'm gonna get you. Alright, one more time. Uh, 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 yes, did it. Alright. Um, that's 2 2. Uh, memory. 
memories. This one is a bit tricky. You don't want to jump too high or else you will hit your head on the spikes and die. And you might also hit your face on the little spikes that, that are- come on! You might also run into these, so be sure to do little jumps when you're jumping over them. Let's go here. Up. Whoa! Let's <laughs> go speedrunning strats here. Take it nice. That said, nice. This is the introduction to the fan. Now, I'm not a big fan of the fans because um, the physics can be a little wonky on these. So, um, I'd just be careful if I were even handling these fans. Um, and also, if you get too close or you fall too hard onto one of them, the blades will destroy you. So, be really careful when approaching these fans. So, let's move on to the next one. Big empty. Now, this one stumped me for a while. I had no idea where I was supposed to go. Um, but if you just wall jump off that wall there, then you can find a trail of these little fans right to go. Just slapped and taken away by Dr. Fetus. So pretty much completing these levels is pointless because Dr. Fetus is going to take Meat Girl anyway. Um, Meat Girl, Bandage Girl. Ah, what am I talking about? Um, this level, there is a nifty little um, kind of skip that entire part and just drop down, um, that. Alright, that's how it's gonna play, alright? Alright, cool with that. No, I'm not cool with that. Alright, there's a nasty glare on my television, so I, it's like right over that little spot where I need to jump in. So like, it's really cool. But anyway, we get an A plus on that level, that's all that really matters. Um, so hush, this is the introduction to these, um, to enemies in general in this game. Um. I don't know the official names of these enemies, but I like to call them red smileys. Squishy, smiley, faced, dog, slug thingies. I'm just gonna die. Um, so yeah, these guys are a little... Excuse me. These guys are a little tough. There's no way you can defeat them, uh, or defeat any other enemies in this game. So um, I just suggest staying out of their way, and they won't harm you. And if you don't, they'll harm you and eat you. And I don't know, everything with a smiley face I thought was nice. But apparently, I was wrong. Er, er, er. All right, A plus there, cool. That's just cool. Um, all right, the Sabbath. Now this level, um, it's a silhouette art style. I really like this art style, but we kind of want to hurry here. Come up there, there is a character warp zone. This character warp zone will lead you to none other than Jill from Jill the Mighty Up. I've never heard of that game, but whatever. Um, so Jill, she is um pretty cool. So what she can do is, if you rapidly tap A, she can kind of float down. And it can really help you in situations that you need um help on. So um, so basically, all these levels are going to be centered around like um kind of floating down like that. So um not good with tapping the A button and controlling, then I suggest skipping this warp zone. Or don't, because, you know, you have power in you. You have the power to survive. Wow, did I do that on my first try or did I die? Oh yeah, I died once. Alright, wow, one death. <laughs> in practice, I missed that part a lot. So we unlock Jill from Jill Mighty of... And um, now we have to do this level again. But yeah, I like Jill a little better than Commander Video because it's basically Commander Video times 10. You can just float in the air as much as you want without any worries. So, alright. Um, so that's how it's gonna play. So basically, um, these silhouette levels uh, are hiding lots of secrets in 
them, um, such as dying. Dying's not really a secret since it's so common in this game. But, uh, you can find many secrets in these silhouette levels, such as that warp zone, and there's many bandages to hidden all over the place. Um, so, these guys are a little bigger than their buddies over here, so, um, these, uh, they just Nothing different, really, just a bigger hitbox and a different sprite with the bu teeth. But, um, geez, I was trying to master this jump in practice and I got it down to pat, but I guess not today. Um, what I'm trying to do is get around him and then just kind of, whoopsies, um, get around him and just kind of, just going into it too wide. Uh, just, yes, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, this level is really easy with Jill, so I'm just gonna kind of show off how cool it is. What? Um, I'm just gonna kind of show off how easy it is with um, Jill. So let's do it right now. So yeah, you just. Oh. All right, cool. Yeah. So I think I did a little faster time, but didn't die at all. So that's how easy Jill makes uh, these levels. So it's really nice. Um, I think we're gonna keep using Jill because I think you need her to get this bandage over here. So that worked out really nicely. Um, so snag that bandage and ride these fans over yonder to this key. Um, yeah, Jill's really helpful on this level um, because if you fall too hardly on those fans, then you'll die horrible death. So um, this level I, I'm gonna be Beat Boy for because Jill has a pretty tough time with it. Alright. Switch character to Meat Boy. Meat Boy is the, the fastest, so which is weird because usually in games you don't you don't start with the fastest character, but in this game it's not like the rest of still you do. Um, so that's an A plus there. Alright, this level. This is really confusing. I don't like this level very much. If you jump there, you can snag a key and then um just jump back into this warp zone here. Um this warp zone is kind of cool, it resembles like a um, Kind of like a called? portable like version, like on a Game Boy or something of Meat Boy, but I don't think Meat Boy is endorsed by Nintendo, so it wouldn't be a Game Boy. Uh, it's something else uh, I don't know of. I don't know. But um, anyway, so this level is a bit hard. Um, I did that right there, so that's pretty cool. Um, so basically, what you do? Here, oh, there was a bandage over there. It's kind of disguised in the wall, um, but I didn't get that. So this this part's really a bit difficult. Uh, anyway, if we try, uh, nope, nope, go, go, nice, 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 nice. Sorry, right, cool. Only one death or two deaths. That's okay. Oh no! And she turns into a frog and leaps away. Poor Meat Boy. Broke his heart. Um, so, anyway, let's go back to above and finish up what we need to finish up there. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just a little on that. Uh, but yeah, just that key. And eventually, you'll appear right there with the bandit girl. And, um, I believe you, you can do this level very easily. Don't even have to worry about those guys. Alright, I'm gonna try to do this. So I'm redoing this level. Uh, so as you can see at the bottom there, there was a bib. Um, as you can see at the bottom over here on the right, there's a bandage. Now I believe this is one of the hardest bandages to get in the entire game. Um, seriously. So what you have to do, watch. No, not watch, don't watch me die into the hot Kool-Aid. I made this for you. Um, but just watch over here. Alright, so we wait for this guy to go, uh, not kill me, but if we come behind here, grab that key, we have to make it all the way back down without dying to get that bandage. So, yeah, a little tricky, yes. I'm awesome, got the bandage, and we have to make our way back up. Uh, if I seriously do this, that's gonna be epic-tacular. Alright, um, let's go around here. I'm just gonna wait for a clear opening. How's everyone? Dance. Good and right. You awesome! On the first try, too! Woo! Alright, cool. Um, 
Well, that's that bandage out of the way. Uh, moving on to ant flow. This level's a bit tricky because the fans are blowing harder than they usually do. So, um, I just do it right there pretty easily. Um, but yeah, sometimes the fan fans blow, like, very, very weakly and you can barely, like, jump up. But in this level, it gets confusing and it, like, blows you up very high. So, I don't know. I'm moving... Good. Moving on to, is this Ultra Pop? Is this Ultra Pop? Yes, it's Ultra Pop. I think you come up here, there's a warp zone. Again, I'm gonna be better about finding these warp zones. Um, I might, I'm gonna show the other warp zone that we missed in World 1 after I'm done with all this stuff. So, yeah, the this warp zone is actually... Wow, I was about to say pretty easy. Wow, I should open my mouth. Uh, but anyway... Y'all need to do. Anyway, what y'all need to do is. Why do I remember this being way easier than it actually is? Um, I don't know. But what you need to do is get that key and then just jump up here. No! Never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna go for the bandage, but looks like this game won't let me. Um, so wait for an opening there. And jump. Jump! Did it. All right, that's that's a um, tough platforming part. So this this part always gives me the chilly willies. Uh, so let's do this. All right, um, watch out because those guys they'll come from the depths of the lava or the hot Kool Aid and they'll try to kill you. Or the hot Kool Aid will kill you. Yeah, lots of things can kill you here. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm so close there. Dang it, why can't this game just let me have satisfaction for once? Come on. Yes, there we go. Just, um, uh, living in the past. Sorry, boy, but we yeah, got bandage girls in another warp zone. Um, so yeah, that, so, uh, just un over, what is it? Underestimate, underestimate the power of your jumps there. And do a small jump there, and then you won't die. Or you won't miss Meat Girl and die like I did. Meat Girl? Why do I keep saying Meat Girl? It's Bandage Girl. Um, anyway, yeah, this is Gallbladder, not Ulcer Pop. Ulcer Pop was 13. Yep, alright. So, uh, got some the names there. But, oh! Um, next time we go to character selection, I'm gonna show what you guys saw there. Um, a new character was unlocked, you say. Check it out for her or whatever it is. So that's an A plus. Um, so yeah, that level's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. All right, this level: Introduction to lasers. They are timed cannons that are instant kill. Everything's instant kill in this game. I don't know why I'm saying it. Um, but you want to time jumps and uh, you can get that pretty easily. All right, so warm food. This level. Dang it! Whoa, that was weird. Um, anyway, this level's pretty easy. Um, I believe the Dark World level makes you like get a key and then go all the way, um, go all the way back down. But luckily, we aren't doing the Dark World level right now. Um, dark World. All right. So this bandage stumped me very much for a long time. All right. So what? You, excuse me. So what you do? Grab the key, jump, jump on, yeah, and just kind of make your way down until you get this is right. Oh, dang it! All right, it is. Where is it? Oh, I know. Um, so basically, what you want to do is not die by lasers, by those lasers. Um, but yes. Then, bandage girl is over here, so don't worry about jumping here, you can just run, and then you'll appear at the other side, but don't, er, uh, uh, excuse me? Um, there's a trap door somewhere here, that, what? What? I don't know. Um, but anyway, there's a trap door. Is it here? No, I'm dead. Um. 
Oh, yes, the, the lasers will go off after a little while. So what you want to do, you just kind of wait on your little block over here. Um, I think the lasers will go off after a little while. Wait for the lasers. Right, there we go. Never mind. Uh, I'll show this bandage later. That's right. I've gotten it before and I, I remember there's like a there's a little secret block over here somewhere that lets you like go in there, but I have no idea where it is at the moment. Didn't even get an A plus, so that was entirely for nothing. Alright, you can do this level pretty fast before you're doing. So basically, just drop right down here and you can slide all the way down to advantage. So Daybreaker is the last level in this tier world. Hospital, alright. Um, so this is a cool glitch I found. Well, like, see me boys standing off the brick. I thought that was pretty cool, but whatever, you guys probably don't care. Um, glitches that I find amazing. Uh, but if you come up here, you can kind of just cheat the entire level and not do anything. I hit jump, and I shouldn't have gone over the side too much. The bad blade from Q. But, go, give this another go, my chap, good ding, friend it, did it, alright, cool, not cool, not cool, alright, if you fall down there, it's pretty much game over, um, because, like, even though it looks like you can climb back up the wall, you can't, um, there's, like, slanted places and stuff and bad things, so, uh, yeah, that's that, um, so I'm kind of ashamed about these A's, but whatever. Not all of them can be A pluses. Um, so it looks like we've unlocked this boss. Hmm, I wonder what it is. It says Chad. I wonder what that stands for. Hmm. All right. So come here. We have cuts to the watch.
one block of meat. That's like the worst way to die. Um, anyway. Um, so that's 20 out of 20 levels, 3 out of 20 bandages, 3 out of 4 warps. Um, so I say it's a pretty good run in this world. Um, so yeah, the cute, huge, and dangerous Chad has been killed. And in the next episode, we'll go to the salt factory. And anyone knows that what keep everyone knows that what keeps meat fresh is salt. Will it keep meat fresh in this world? Hmm. I'm wondering about that. But we'll find out in the next episode. Um, but in the meanwhile, I'll show off the dark world levels and the hospital. Um, I want to say about, um, Chad, I think that was, like, kind of a letdown of a boss, like, at the end. Like, seriously, like, you go through this creepy purple, like, demented world, and, like, you're meet by a tiny little ball of red that likes smooching? Uh, I don't know, not really intimidating to me, but anyway, I'm just gonna show off, like, three of these levels, just for the sake- oh, alright, um, level, alright, whatever. So this level is back- oh, I forgot to let you guys listen to the music, but, um, I'll let you listen to the Dark World music, it's not that much different. Um, but just listen as we try to triumph backtrack. Take a listen. Yeah, so that's music. That that music is pretty cool. And as you can see, I switched to this new character, Gish. Hmm, what's he all about? Um, well, Gish. He looks like a ball of slime. He is a ball of slime, and he's very sticky. So, um, as you can see, Gish can cling to the walls. So you can just stay up here for however long you want. But the bad thing about him is that he will stick to the walls like forever. So if you're trying to like slide up and like to perfect a jump or anything that will not happen but uh i was thinking that he could make this level easier so far he's doing his job never mind let's pick it some other levels to do um so anyway but um yeah you saw gish you saw what he's all about um yes Alright, uh, yeah, you've seen enough of the dark world, Shh, you don't need that, this video's getting long anyway. Um, so, uh, two things left, I want to show off where that warp zone is that we missed in the forest, and I would like to show you to internet and see what that world is all about, so let's hop back into the forest. The forest of illusion, Super Mario World reference there, I love it. Um, so I think it was intermission. So, meat boy for intermission. Yes, this is it. So, um, basically what we needed to do was come up here, and this is a wall that and that, and get the warp zone up here. So, yeah, it's another one of these, um, handheld game references things. So, let's see what this is about. Oh, I'm this one. This one's difficult. Uh, but did it there, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, this one. So this one's pretty cool. So basically, what you have to do is hurry here through this maze before the spike shooters destroy all these blocks and um, you, to get bandage girl. So that's pretty cool. You can get a bandage. Girl. 
hurry the heck up. Um, so that's jump. 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 There. I didn't mean to stand there. Alright, let's give it a go. Let's give it another go. Chop. Oopsies. Dang it. Alright. Come on here. We have all day. We do have all day, actually. We're here for hours. Oops. I don't want to pull people through that. It's a stupid idea, but I, I could do it and I did it. Awesome. So thanks, Meat Boy. Oh no! I'm a frog now. Goodbye. Alright, so warp zone is unlocked. Um, so that's all fine and dandy. But what we really want to know is to internet. Well, to internet is unlocked. I don't know how. I was just playing random levels and I must have got a bandage to open it or something, but uh. Yeah, I don't know how to unlock it, unlock it, but, uh, anyway, I don't know why it's not letting me go into it right now, but, oh, I know why. Alright, um, we'll check that out next time, because I'm playing this on my, um, brother's account, and he doesn't have Xbox Live, like, um, I didn't want to play on my file to like so everything would be completed. I wanted to start over and do a walkthrough. But um yeah, next time I think I will show off what to internet is on my own file. So um yeah, in the next episode we'll be going to the salt factory and see what this pupilless face in terror of salt is terrified of. We'll see you guys later.